Welcome back everybody, this is Travis here with Fisher Hex. appreciate you stopping in. In today's video I'm going to show you guys the setup for the frag swap which is tomorrow. Now uh, those of us who are selling corals should be there around 0830, 0845 to set up, get everything good to go for people to start showing up uh, at 11 a.m. Now uh, I will show you uh, everything that I have piece by piece, kind of give you guys a general game plan and towards the end of the video I'll show you a couple projects that I did over the last couple days on the main display and those videos will be out next week uh, in detail. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and look at the uh, cooler here. Now, I didn't use this in the last swap, but I uh, probably should have. Would have made life a lot easier and a lot less water would have got over my car. But uh, basically what I do, guys, is I take uh, the egg crate here. One piece has the uh, frag rack, or sorry, frag plugs on it. That will sit on the bottom. I will fill it up with coral, and then I'll use uh, three quarter inch PVC as spacers, and then so on. If I have to make another one, I will, but uh, it should be pretty good with just those three racks. Uh, as long as I don't tip the car over or drive like a maniac, it should hold the water. Um, I tested it earlier. So, I mean, it's not you know water sealed completely, but um, it's definitely better than what I had last time, trust me. Anyways, uh, moving into this, as you guys seen in the previous video, I have the 40 gallon breeder, which I will be filling about halfway or about two or three inches over the uh, top frag rack, which I made out of acrylic. That's also in the previous video. I have my fish of heck sign, my cards, my uh, cups to put coral in when we sell them. Using the same uh, light holder as before, SB Reef Light, which I'll take off the frag system. We'll be going over that. We'll be just using blues. Now, this time I'm using a canister filter with ROX 0.8 carbon. I haven't used a canister filter before because my last frag tank had an all-in-one. I just put a bag of carbon in there. But uh, this time we're going to use some filter floss, the ROX 0.8, and we're just going to use a canister filter, and it should be fine. There shouldn't be any issues with that. It should work out good. Um, now, uh, moving on to uh, the game plan for tomorrow. Now, there is a, a lot to be done in the morning. I have all my corals ready to go. It's just in the frag tank. Um, basically, I'm just going to have to, the hardest part is going to be transferring coral from one tank to this bucket. That's probably going to be the most time consuming thing. Now, they are providing water, or at least I was told they are, but I'm still going to bring about 15, 20 gallons just in case because it is 45 minutes away. And if there was a miscommunication somewhere, I don't want to be there without any water. So I have 45 gallons in the other room, which is mixing up at, at the moment. I have a water change on the main display on Sunday, so I'm just going to go ahead and pump out water from that uh, mixing barrel tomorrow morning through a 50-foot hose of the MAG-18 into the SUV in a brute trash can, and then uh, I will be bringing it in, uh, bringing that with me. Now, it'll be a lot easier uh, this time than it was last time, because last time I just drained it out bucket by bucket and then used the pump once I got out there, and I'm just not doing that this time. It's not uh, worth the effort. But um, so let's go ahead and get into some of these projects that I did over the last couple days um, to kind of show you guys what's coming up. Now, uh, excuse the noise there. I'll explain that here in a second. Now, first things first, we have the Red Sea color program. I recently went back to that. Now, you guys, as you guys know, I've been using the KZ Coral system. Um, and um, I'm going to do a final review on that, explain why I went back to the color program. Uh, there's definitely a, a few reasons why. Uh, nothing, nothing horrible, but... Um, yeah, I just, it needed to happen, basically. I'll leave it at that. Uh, the next project here, which is where this freaking noise is coming from, I installed a UV sterilizer, attached it to the manifold, and um, I will do a whole video on that, the type of UV I got, how I hooked it up, and um, why I decided to finally get a UV sterilizer for this system. Now, uh, also, the tank is trash right now, and the blues are really high, so it's going to be fuzzy, but... We have our Melanorse Rass in there. We have our Sailfin in there, which is doing great. And I have the Pipefish, which are in the main, or are in the, uh, sorry, excuse me, are in the uh, Display Refugium. Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, and um, everybody's doing good. Uh, surprisingly, the Hippo Tang is being a little sissy when it comes to this um, Sailfin. I think she, uh, you know, remembers Zay Zay, and uh, he was the ruler of the roost before, so she's been really docile. Uh, when it comes to uh, the new sailfin, which is interesting. I didn't think that was going to happen, but she's all like uh, lovey to him, which is something that she was only like that with Zay Zay, and I was pretty surprised that she acted like that. Uh, but he is uh, he is definitely a brute. He's a little jerk. Um, the uh, fox face sleeps inside this Gorgonian at night. He just lays inside the branches, and the sailfin will come over and um, start beating on him while he's trying to sleep. Uh, the Melanorse Rast is cool. Uh, the eel actually um, tried to eat him the other day. I think he just confused him as a silver side and uh, he was in his mouth. He finally got out of there. So that was the first time I've ever seen the eel um, almost have a snack. So thankfully he uh, he's still here with us. 
But uh, yeah, guys, um, I have some stuff coming up regarding the Acroporo, which will be out in a couple weeks. I'll explain some of the situations with that, some of the stuff that I've been dealing with, and I'll do a whole video update for that, explaining what happened. Now, that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. I will do a video for everything tomorrow and have that out to you guys uh, Sunday or Monday so you guys know uh, how everything went. So uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.